<laughs> What's up, everybody? We're here with Will Stroud. We're here with Nathan Williams. We're just gonna smash that like button. So um, you guys just put out this new video last week for cinema, and you guys worked really hard on it. Filmed for the past few months. Um, and this is kind of interesting, too, because it marks 10 years since you guys did your last uh, cinema split video. So I guess before we talk about the new video, can you guys believe it's been 10 years since we did the, the last one? Not at all. <laughs> no, I just rewatched it actually a little bit ago. And like, I don't know, it just, it's so crazy because I feel like my perception of time is so altered because sometimes those types of things feel like they were so long ago, but then they also feel like they were yesterday. Like I watched that and I just like, I literally remembered that whole trip like it was yesterday. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to believe, you know? I feel the same as Dak, like how the perception of time, it's like, it seems like a long time ago, but then it also doesn't at all, you know? It's just weird how it almost seems like maybe five years ago or something like that, you know? Yes, it takes a little bit of, I'd say, the pressure off, but also it's because you're working with someone, especially like with Dak, like we've been friends for a long, long time, so it, it's it takes all the pressure off it, it just makes it more of like a homey vibe, a fun, a fun vibe. Even though, you know, a lot of the days we were out like getting it pretty, pretty hard, it still just it felt like uh, felt like just homey vibes. You know, not like oh, I'm I'm stressing for like my section. Yeah, yeah I agree with that 100. percent It's like you know you're going out and when you both are, especially when you're both working on the same project and like you kind of you know you want it to be something you're proud of it's like it makes it so much easier when like you're in it together you know what i mean it's like oh dude like you get motivated by one another a lot when you're out filming for a split part especially because nathan said like we've been homies for a really long time i think the vibes out in the streets were so good for this particular project because between being friends for a long time, kind of liking to ride the same types of spots. Even if we have different trick selections, we'd be able to like figure out our own little niche on the spot. So then it's like, oh, do, you know, Nathan gets something and I'm like super fired up and like makes me want to get something and I'm, you know, hopefully vice versa, Nathan. But um, yeah. I think it's special and I think especially working with like people that you like being around, obviously, like we had a good time filming with Andrew and, um, it was just like the vibes were so good that like I think it just you know it made this process even if it was stressful at times because you're pushing yourself it made the process way smoother than you know if you were out with someone you didn't want to be with you know so well I feel, I feel like that's very accurate too that like I think you went out one weekend while I was on a trip solo and I went out I think once with Andrew solo down in San Diego but other than that it was like, we would talk about spots, like, oh, you know, this would be something that we, we could both ride, you know, and I feel like that was cool. That, to me, took off a lot of, like, like you are saying, pressure or whatever, just, like, because we were going into each spot almost together, you know, like, all right, we're going to session this together. and so, Exactly. Cool. exactly. I think it was funny because I think we kind of discussed that. Like, we were like, mm -hmm. hey, like, let's try and stay on the same page as far as, like, let's, like, try to all go out together every time you know what i mean and minus yep. like you said minus that like one day or one weekend or whatever it was like we we're pretty much all together the whole time which was rad because um it just felt like we we're we we're all on the same page and we were all like we all had the same vision for this video at that point because it was like oh dude we've we've all been in the trenches together this entire time you know like let's make yep. something proud of and um yeah i think you know, I think there was even instances where, like, maybe you had a spot you wanted to go to and, like, or maybe I had something I wanted to go to. And we would, like, even if we didn't have anything in mind going to it, I think, like, we we made it work where it was, like, mm -hmm. oh, dude, like, Nathan has a trick. He wants to get on this spot. And then you show up and then it's, like, you get fired up because your homie's getting stuff. And it's, like, it and I feel you know that almost makes it better too because like yeah you're you're right in that sense of like you get to a spot and it's not necessarily something that like okay well i had something that i wanted to do at that spot but when you get there you know you get fired up and then it kind of just sparks you know gets the gets the wheels rolling and then so there's just no there's no like 
precursor behind what you're going to do. It's like just feels very natural, you know. I know the word teammate could apply to a lot of things, but it's like you have like it's almost like a support system in that way. You know what I mean? Where you're like, oh, dude, like, yeah, yeah, this is this is scary, but I have my homie here with me, so let's just do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I got back up. I got back up in case I slammed. They think it comes through. <laughs> well, and it was and cool too because like that one day that the the day that we were at that uh, the ledge the the hub ledge spot and the cutoff rail. You wanted to do the switch eyes to nose. You were sweating it, and I wanted to do the manual, and I was sweating it. But though, because we were both sweating those things together, like, it was like, all right, if you do that, I'll do this. You know, yep. And so yep. that like kind of, you know, back and forth with some of those spots that that makes it a little bit easier. You know, for sure. I I think those types of scenarios in BMX are like some of my f- favorite things about BMX because it's like. It the the fear feels a lot less when you're when it's like all right, dude, you get this. I got your back. Like, <laughs> you like, know, it's like mi- misery loves <laughs> yeah, back, like, we're, both, we're both terrified. We're both we're both like you know we kind of don't want to do this, but we do at the same time. So if you do it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, no that that aspect was was really cool through the video through filming process of this video for sure got out like pretty much every most every week at least a day you know throughout that time i don't think there was you know i don't think there was ever more than like a 10 day span where we didn't get out and film you know it was they're like i was going down to san diego and meeting up with the dudes or nathan was coming up and we were going to orange county or like we actually went to like Riverside area like quite a bit too. I would say, I would say, it was split into thirds. You know what I mean? It was mm-hmm. like a third county, a third Riverside area, and then a third San Diego. So it ended up working out pretty cool because we we covered a lot of ground in that time, and we got to ride a bunch of stuff that we wanted to ride, and also spots that we had never been to. Like, oh, dude, like you know, Nathan found something and. Uh, would send me a photo. It's like, yo, let's go ride this thing this weekend, and I'd come down to San Diego, or I'd find something out, in, you know, a little bit east somewhere, and we'd go there for the weekend. Like, it was the process was really, I, it was really enjoyable. <laughs> it was fun. So, yeah. yeah, it was sick. Yeah, it's funny because every time I finish a project, like you know, like working on like native land videos or whatever, it's like filming so much in Southern California. I'm like, dude, like. I really feel like I'm running out of spots, you know? But then another project comes along, and then I realize that it's kind of endless with spots, like, in SoCal. You know what I mean? It's like you, you might have to go down a few different streets, you know, than you normally would, and you'll find a new school. And then it's like, oh, dude, like, it opens it up even more, you know? So um, I think also – you know, with with how weird this last year has been with, like, the quarantine stuff and, like, not traveling, I've had so much more time to search that, like, I found stuff, you know, since my last project I worked on that I knew would be good spots for this project, you know? And then it's, like, you know, then I'm able to, like, have things that I want to hit and then I have spots that I love to show nathan like i'm like yo dude like this has your name written on it like let's hit this you know so not to say it's like oh dude look at me i'm the one doing all the search it's just like i really enjoy searching and i know nathan does too but like you know going to like those areas i guess like east a little bit was a little bit more accessible for me at times so like i would just go and i would search and i'm like yo like found this we're going there this weekend you know so you know i know you're not trying to toot your own horn at all but you do you you venture out really far you know sometimes you'll drive three hours or four hours i know sometimes you've ended up in like vegas (laughs) yeah (laughs) you know so that's you know you put in a lot of work for that stuff dude i'm not doing it for any other reason other than like the vibe you know i'm like dude because if i do spend these couple hours in the car and find something that's that's going to be good for the weekend. Like I know, I know what that feeling's like when, when we go to a spot and it's a sick spot and we're vibing off each other. Like I know what that feeling's like. And it's like a craving. It's like, dude, I, 
I want that to keep happening, you know. Mm -hmm. so in order for that to keep happening, you just got to keep searching. So that's kind of the philosophy. It's kind of interesting though, too, because like going back to like that that spot where you did the switch eyes to nose, you know, that abandoned building. Like that building's been abandoned and running pretty much for like what six years, something yeah. crazy, you know. But it's interesting how like you could go back to the same spot and you'll your wheels will turn a little differently, you know, and you'll see something a little differently, you know? Yeah, that's a good point. Because, like, I would say maybe even, like, a quarter to half the spots were, like, revisit spots. Like, we've actually been to before. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, you scratch your head a little bit harder, and it's like, oh, yeah, like, I could do this here. Or, like, and Nathan, you should try this here or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, like, uh, um, I think... I think that's the other aspect of riding that's like so rad and having that homie vibe contributes to it where it's like, yeah. hey, like, you know, our, our mindset's always changing with riding. Our ideas are always changing with tricks. And if you have a homie there, it gets the gears turning a little bit quicker because then it's like you're, you're, you're disgusting like, hey, you should do this here or, hey, it'd be sick if this happened here, you know, like. It's yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dex just laughing. Every single clip that I get is a battle these days. <laughs> swear, dude. I swear. That's why I'm laughing. I'm just like thinking about like losing my mind <laughs> so often. Um, yeah, Nate, dog, you go first on this one. <laughs> you think anything? I mean, I I can think of quite a few. You know, and I'm kind of right there with you with some of this stuff where it's like you know even some of the the lines that weren't like scary necessarily but it would just take me forever and then you get in this mental battle of, is this even worth it is it this you know that whole thing but the one that the one that stands out for me is the back crook indian over and then like a feeble smith on the ledge dude it took me like three hours going and going and going and that just that typical battle of trying something forever you know i feel like yeah. every, everyone's been through that you know that's the other cool that just kind of popped into my head was like also the fact that we've been homies for so long we could like i feel like we could sense like i could sense when like uh nathan's like you know his brain's getting in the way of him doing this right now like hey let's like talk through it a little bit you know like almost like it's like you're, you're, turn into your therapist <laughs> for sure but you know what, and that's the thing is it, is it makes it easier in those in those scenarios where like I'm trying something forever, you're trying something forever. If you were just sitting there, if it's just you and the filmer, sometimes it, it's it's harder to do that, you know, to push through that, you know. And so when you have someone there that like under you know is like can sense that and talk you through it. <laughs> Yeah, all, all the homies become therapists when you're out in the streets, I swear. it's And it's awesome because you feel that support from your friends. You're like, these dudes really want me to get this too. Like, this is rad. Like, let's do it. You know? <laughs> but, um, yeah, because, I mean, there's been – it's funny. There's been times, like, especially filming for this video where, like, I could remember I would be in the middle of trying something and I'm, like, an hour deep or whatever and I'm just getting so frustrated and, like, I'll look at Nathan or I'll look at other people that are there that are out on the session. I'm just like, I need, I need some help right now. <laughs> like help my brain, dude. But, uh, yeah. And then it's just like, even really simple things like, come on, dude. Like, yeah, it's just going to take that one or you got this, like, let's do it. You know, like that type of stuff. It's like, it goes a long way, you know, cause it gets, it gets you out of that, um, the endless cycle of like, cause if you get in that, if you get in that like mental cycle, that's like, all right, I'm keep trying this, and I'm not going to get it. And it's like this negative mental cycle. Sometimes it just takes like a couple words from your homie to get that you get it the next try, you know, which is awesome. And it also is scary because it goes to show how how powerful our brains are uh, in a in a good way sometimes and in a bad way sometimes. Like it could literally deter you from getting the trick at times, you know. But like that's why being out on the session with with homies and having that support. It, it makes the process a little bit easier and I guess like specific battles for me on this video was like uh, there's like this like I, th I don't know how many kinks it is but this rail has a lot of kinks in it and uh, I it was like I think it was the first day we filmed dude I it went was yeah I was trying to grind it I think 
I think me and Nathan grinded down it within like five tries, like all the way down. And it was like, okay, like, yeah, this spot's sick. I can't really do much. Like, I'm going to try like Pex Hard 180 on it, you know? And I swear, I tried it for like an hour and a half. And I was just like losing my mind because I couldn't get down it anymore. And anytime I did get down it, I'd try to do the 180 and I'd be like off balance a little and it just wouldn't work. So we ended up having to go back for that one because I got too frustrated. And then when I made it down this time, I was like, even so that was, it was, it was even taking a long time the second time we visited. And uh, I was like, I'm just going to switch 180 out because I thought it would look cooler anyways. I'm like, dude, it's gotten to the point where I feel like hard 180s have become easier for people than switch, <laughs> which is true. But, uh, so I got to the bottom, like, I'm going to switch 180. And, uh, but it was funny because, like, what did I say? I Dude, said, it was literally – well, I think you I think you said something about you, you, you hate this or something. Yeah, yeah I, I think I literally – there's, like, what? a whole clip that you could run, and I, I, I swear I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I know I don't want to be swearing, but I did. But I was, like, I think I was up at the top of the rail, and I just looked at it and I was like, I fucking hate this fucking rail. Like, or something like that. <laughs> I looped around and then it worked. Like, and it I want to say, dude, it was like because you you had been trying it obviously for a while, and I want to say you were like you were like, dude, this is like my last one. It, it yeah. was like within the last five tries because you could tell you were getting super super frustrated. Yeah, you know. So we don't get out long that day too. That was the like, end. That was the end of the day, and it was the end of kind of like we knew that was going to be the one of the last filming day. That was the last. That was the last filmed that was the last clip that we filmed because after that we were we like sat there at the spot and, and piddled around for a little while and we were like all right well this is it. Yeah. Sick, dude. i think both of us knew andrew from a previous cinema trip to denver um that was the first time that we met him um but so this was the first like project that we were working on with him and and uh I don't know. It just it went really good, man. Every time we would go out filming, he was he was down. He was down to drive three, four hours or an hour, whatever, wherever we wanted to meet. He was down to film anything. He was just very easygoing and and relaxed, and it made the 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 filming process really really good. You know, it was really cool because like there was such a strong sense of him being in it with us and being totally. down. He yeah. was in it long haul. He's like, dude. If we got to be here for three hours to get this trick, like, let's do it, dude. Like, he didn't lose any sort of motivation at all throughout that process. He filmed it just as good every single time. It wasn't like, oh, I'm getting tired. Like, you know, he's running around with the camera or whatever it is. It's just like, nah, dude, like, let's get it. Like, And, and you know what? There was days, too. Like, I remember specifically we met up at that school up in Sanburn. His neck will lock neck. <laughs> Um And I remember showing up to the school and he had an acai bowl, you know, and he's happy. He's smiling and stuff. And he, like, he like can't turn his neck, you know, <laughs> like this. But he's still out there, you know, with with his gimbal, with, you know, whatever he needs to do, he's going to do it, you know. So it was cool. <laughs> yeah, he killed it, dude. Yeah, and I remember he, like, rolled his ankle super bad that day we were out, too. Yep. And he rolled it, and then it was, like, oh, dude, I kind of rolled my ankle. And we're like, oh, that sucks. You know, didn't think much of it. And then on Instagram later in the day, so I posted a photo of his ankle was like this big. Yeah. We, we stayed out filming for like another four hours after he rolled it. So he's like out getting like follow lines of us and his ankle's like a balloon. Dude, I, I slow-mo the clip. His ankle bone almost hit the ground. <laughs> Um, I was really happy with that clip. <laughs> <laughs> you should, I, I should think, be, bro. That was insane. I remember when you were trying that, I was like, you're going to nose into this parking block. <laughs> and this clip, come on, bro. You did this in like, that was like five tries. Uh, I was hyped on that because I'd been messing around with it at the skate park a bunch, but that was the first one that I actually filmed on Real Real. Remember, we were gonna, you were gonna get it at that other spot, uh, but there was cars in the way. The one in Encinitas or Escondido or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Escondido? Is that where it was? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Esco Real. Oh, uh, this was the spots kind of like from that clip, what we were talking about. Oh, I can't even talk about that clip because this clip's so fire. 
Oh, come on. But that, that clip, that, that's the, the two clips at that spot, that's kind of like what we were talking about, the homie vibes of just yeah. like, because Chad was there. There was like quite a few people and it was like everyone was just vibing, you know? Yeah. I love this line, Nathan. How long did this Dude. one take? That one took me a long time. Uh, that was one of those days where I was really like mental battle. Just like, dude, there's so there's everyone here. <laughs> this is that, taking forever. That day that came together without even being planned was insane. The entire cinema team was there. <laughs> yeah. Marcus and like all of a sudden Christian. Christian was there. Like, yes. Yeah. Like, rolled up. Yeah, I love these two roof clips back to back. They're so sick. Yeah, that roof clip looks really cool. Yeah, spot that looks. Spot, I mean, I was I was stoked on that spot. This dude. Yeah. Very surprised that that glass didn't break. I saw a comment. <laughs> I saw a comment on the YouTube, and someone's like, "Yeah, it wasn't worth the possibility of that window breaking." It's like you've been trying to, bro. Like, I wasn't trying to, but I mean, <laughs> it yeah, been, I guess if that window would have broken, that would have been. It would have been sick if it broke. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Intro clip, at least, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, this spot was sick. Normally, like, up until quarantine or whatever, the pandemic, you couldn't even get five minutes at this spot. And then we got as long as we wanted, pretty much. I love this clip, dude. Nate, this clip's so sick. Nate Dog coming through with the fire spot. <laughs> He, put, he did the curve wall ride on his Instagram. I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to ride that thing, dude. That spot looks so cool. <laughs> like, please do. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, I love the clips from this school and both of you guys. Yeah, this clip too. That was that was one of the days that, that Drew showed up and he couldn't move his neck. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Shout out to Drew for pushing through, getting footy. There. This clip was so sick. I don't even know. You you can't tell, but in in that uh, on that um, the Coke machine thing, there was massive like metal spikes basically <laughs> sticking out from the side of that thing. I think this was from one of the first days of filming this mm -hmm. grind, and then this was the last day of filming. <laughs> last clip of the video, huh? Last clip of filming. Yeah. Nice. This was a fun day too. We had Chad out. Yeah, he so drove us. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that hub is not even rideable anymore, so we got there at the perfect time. Really? Did they yeah. put the bail back on it? No, they capped it, and it's like a ledge that's capped now. But, like, I think the caps look kind of gnarly. And they repainted the building, and someone moved in. Yeah. Uh. Ooh. Uh, that school's intimidating. <laughs> oh, this was... So and oh I filmed this clip <laughs> and it switch shout out to Beach for letting us use his camera <laughs> yeah that was on Beach's camera that was like a random day Drew couldn't get out and I was like well maybe I could film so insane <laughs> dude the slow-mo on that makes it look so much more dramatic. It didn't feel like that, but then when I watched it, I'm like, oh yeah, dude, that slam looks sick, dude. <laughs> that is by far the biggest ice to nose ever done. 16 stair ice to fucking... How many tries was that, Nate? Like, Look at that, that straight... Rail Manny. Like, two? Two goes? Damn. Yeah, he's... I, I, I grinded it a bunch. I, I ended up, like, kind of bitching out a lot. Nate Dog. Oh, I had to go this back spot. twice for this. Yeah. It was like, uh, dark. And then when we went back the second time, I think. Or we actually went back a couple times. But I think it worked. I think I did that within like. I think that might have been like the first try when we went back. The pocket wall. To it was. It. Yep. It was one of those classic things where you tried it quite a bit of times. And then like the, the next time you go back, you just get it first try. This is probably my favorite clip in the video. Yeah, right I like here. that one a lot too, Nate. That, absolutely. That's the one that took me a long, long time. Oh, Colin Provost was skating this that day, so I think we got all fired up and Nate Dog got a clip on it. I think they had actually taken the caps off of it, and that's why we were like, oh, yeah, that's, that's not going to be running. And this right here, I'm going to be honest with you. 
thought I was hitting that hole. <laughs> like that that wall ride is so insane, and he did it switch. Like what? I don't know, man. That was amazing. I love so much. Yeah, I was like. Oh, dude, it'd be cool. You could do like two, three, and then like land on the ledge and do a trick off. Like I didn't think of getting into the Smith. And then I started kind of feeling it out, and it seemed like it was going to work. But even when it worked, it was a unusually low amount of tries for me. Like normally everything takes me 100 tries. That was like it just worked way easier than stuff normally does for me. So, um I was really stoked. I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah. Normally, the thing takes me like 100 tries, and for some reason, I got blessed with the with the 10-try trick, so pretty happy. That day was really cool. That was the same day we went to the um, – where Nathan did the straight-on rail manual, and I did the switch ice to nose. That was the same day as that, and that was just like – Was that I, the day? It was. Oh, it was, yeah, because we, we were – yeah, we just kept going north from there. I don't know. I feel like that was one of those days where we didn't really have – too much on the agenda and it just worked out that way where it was like okay let's like let's go here or um let's you know let's just keep moving around and see what other spots are around and yeah it just worked out so it's kind of cool it was a it was a un- unexpectedly uh productive day i guess <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching double feature behind the curtain nathan williams will stroud thank you guys um if this is the type of video that uh, tickles your fancy, then just uh, go ahead and <laughs> comment, subscribe, do all that weird stuff. <laughs> Peace.